see him on the ice in the Stanley Cup playoffs, but Granville native Chris Davidson Adams is uh, playing a big role, really, for the Golden Knights. Larry Figurski caught the Vegas equipment manager in the NHL bubble as he and the Knights pursue another trip to the Cup. Well, Chris began his career, like a number of others, under longtime Griffin's equipment manager, Brad Thompson, here in Grand Rapids. Chris got his first manager's job in Muskegon with the old fury of the UHL. He's worked in the IHL, the AHL, and the NHL the last three years as equipment manager for the Vegas Golden Knights. And Chris, kind enough to join us now from the NHL bubble in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And Chris, as fans, we loved the game is back. Even on TV, it took a little while to get used to the empty stands, but I think the hockey's been great. How different has it been, and what, you know, what's it been like for the players and the staff there? You know, it's really been a really unique and awesome experience. Um, obviously, there's things in the world that we haven't seen before, um, but the NHL has done a really great job of putting this together, making this happen from logistics to testing to just the experience. Uh, it, it's a little odd going out for warm-ups and having no fans in the seats <laughs> or seeing four floor fans in the seats in Edmonton, but with uh, all the video boards and all the, and the setup with the graphics in the stands, it's been uh, really cool to see and, and really well put on by the NHL. And league's done a great job of keeping everybody safe, Chris. Uh, you know what, at last I think around 10,000 COVID tests, not a single positive. Obviously that doesn't happen without the players and the staffs taking out a good chunk of that responsibility as well. What's the vibe like amongst the guys and you know, and the teams and in that responsibility? Um, it's been very well received. Uh, everyone feels safe in the bubble. Uh, we're getting tested every day. The league and the city of Edmonton has done a great job of making us feel safe and protected. You still have to do your due diligence and make sure you're wearing a mask. Uh, I'm in a room by myself here, so uh, <laughs> nobody to physical distance from, so I can take off my mask for a couple minutes, uh, but just doing our extra due diligence as uh, team staffs, uh, extra sanitizing, uh, taking care of the gear and, and rooms, and extra cleaning crews coming through, and always making sure everything's clean and disinfected. There's millions of us who grew up playing hockey, dreaming of making it to the NHL, so very, very few actually do. You found another way to get there. Even, you know, seven seasons into the NHL, is it still surreal to you at times being a part of that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's still surreal um, being here some days, most days. When I get a chance to think about it, you know, it's always a treat and special for me to hear my mom and dad back in Granville, you know, text and saying, I see you on TV. And uh, same thing, my wife and my two young boys. It's just surreal and every day special. Chris, thanks for taking the time and doing this. We wish you luck the rest of the way. And, you know, for all of you staying in the bubble to give us hockey back, we say thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, and thanks for your support um, back in Michigan. Michigan is such a rich hockey tradition, and with the Red Wings being a great organization and working for them with our Rapids Griffins, always be thankful and always be watching. But it's just great to have that support. All right, thanks again, Chris. Go get a cup, buddy. Thanks again. Appreciate it.